No moi kaikki. It's Mikko. I'm going to share some things about food and groceries in Finland and how those compare to the Philippines since some of these things are a little different between the two countries. And this video is related to chapter 5 in Jooma Hoidan as that discusses the, the, the partitive ending along with food items. Normally we would have these small PowerPoint presentations in class, but since we don't have classes right now, I think this is a good way to share some cultural insights into how things work in Finland. Let me switch to the PowerPoint here. Okay, food items and food in Finland. So ge some general tendencies uh, regarding food and groceries in Finland. Uh, in the Philippines, many of the dishes are considered like Filipino or like very local and are difficult, difficult to find elsewhere. Whereas in Finland, people don't see it the same way. There are traditional Finnish dishes that are usually eaten during certain festivities such as Christmas, but contemporary food culture in Finland is or resembles like w general Western and European food culture and people don't consider their dishes particularly Finnish. So you cannot go to Finland and find a restaurant that serves Finnish food per se or if you find one it's usually something that caters to tourists and the dishes are not like something people would necessarily cook in their everyday life at home. And spices wise or flavor wise uh, Finnish food is pretty dull in a sense that there's nothing exciting spices wise it's just salt and pepper similar to the Philippines garlic. Uh, maybe vinegar is used to lesser extent and unlike in the Philippines, the main source of carbs is not necessarily rice, but there are also potato and pasta widely used. Now, if you work at a nursing home, you will probably see more potato than an average person in Finland would see otherwise, since the food in those establishments is usually geared towards the elderly who prefer potatoes over pasta and rice. But all of those uh, three are easily available. Okay. And meat-wise, nothing really surprising. Chicken, pork and beef are commonly consumed. But you have to know that unlike in some Catholic places, uh, fish is considered meat so if your friend says they don't eat meat you cannot serve them fish obviously in Finland and when you go and buy meat products they are usually processed and boneless so you cannot necessarily get the similar experience as you might when you go to Palenque here in the Philippines and buy food and often the meat is pre-packaged and there's never an option for you to go and pick the items yourself in a sense that you get the tongs or or whatever thing that you use to grab them from the from the from the tray nor can you poke and inspect them before buying you have to point at them and then the staff will pack it for you if it's not pre-packaged and but this only applies to like easily perishable food items like meat products you can pick produce like fruits and vegetables and other items without any any obstacles uh, deep frying is less common in Finland than in the Philippines 
almost all Finnish households have an oven in the kitchen, so food is often cooked there or it is uh, pan fried. Deep frying is a thing, but but there's no similar street food culture there, and less deep frying at home in general. Okay. Finland is a dairy producing country and dairy products are widely available and to a like middle class consumer their uh, cost is less than in the Philippines if you take the purchasing power of the consumer into account. Here are some Finnish words for for milk products. So maito is milk piima. This is something you cannot really find in the Philippines. This is sour milk. It's little thicker and obviously tastes sour, but they are sold in a s container very similar to milk and yogurt, so pay attention at the grocery store so you won't buy this if it's not what you are after. Yogurt is yogurt in Finnish. General term for cheese is juusto. Yeah, telo is ice cream. Kerma for cooking or for your coffee is uh, just regular cream. Rahka means quark in English. It's a sour milk product, thicker than yogurt. You can use it in desserts. It might be unflavored or flavored. The flavored ones usually have extra sugar added to them. Cottage cheese is rai justo. Boy is butter. Blue cheese in Finnish is home justo. Home means mold. So moldy cheese. And tuore justo is cream cheese, literally fresh cheese. Okay. At the restaurant, so this, in general restaurants work the same way as in the Philippines, so you either place an order at the counter, or if it's a place where you sit in and there are waiters, then you pick a table and sit down, or they will seat you. But this is a major difference between Finland and the Philippines, so in Finland you almost never do the waving thingy. You never wave at the waiter to come over or you never try to get their attention with this sort of hand signal. Uh, waiters are expected to pay attention and come to you when it seems like you are ready to order. So unless there is like something really wrong or you need immediate assistance with something, people might consider it a little rude to wave at the waiter to come over. And if you draw a rectangular shape in the air, like the you would do in the Philippines at the restaurant, it does nothing in Finland. So you have to you have to actually ask for the bill. And you usually do this after the meal when they come and take your dishes away. And Finland is a non-tipping culture, so do not tip at the restaurant. I mean, you can if you want, but you are not expected to. And and the waiters do not live off of tips, so their base salary is higher than than in the U.S., for example, where tips make the bulk of the of the wage wages of the waiter. And it's common to pay with card instead of cash. The waiter will bring you the, the card reader and you'll just pay at the table with your card. Okay. But in general, people don't eat at restaurants as much in Finland as pe people might in the Philippines because food and eating at a restaurant in general is more expensive in Finland. But of course you can get fast food and like lunch offers and buffet lunches 
at a lower price. If you want fast food, the largest burger chain in Finland is Hess Burger. It's a Finnish company with branches in some other countries. And then, of course, McDonald's is there. No Jollibee in Finland at the moment. And very common form of fast food is kebab. This is this is a product similar to what what people would refer to as swarma in the Philippines, like sliced meat, a thin sliced meat carved of a of a larger portion. And this is usually served in small restaurants, usually run by Turkish and Middle Eastern immigrants. And often these places serve pizza as well, and these days also vegan versions uh, of, of kebab dishes if you don't eat meat. And prices are relatively cheap compared to going to a fine dining place, but obviously the, the nutritional value might not be super high as with any fast food, so heavy on sodium and saturated fat. Okay, grocery stores. So Finland at the moment basically has almost has a duopoly where two retail companies dominate the grocery business. They are called Kesko and Asryhmä, the S group. And some people say that the, this, this duopoly is uh, driving up prices of food items in Finland. The third major competitor in Finnish uh, food business is the is a German company in Finnish it's called Lidl L I D L not Lidl but the duopoly operates many stores under various brand uh, brands so the Kesko operates uh, things called Co Market and Co City Market and so on whereas the S group operates I uh, stores that are called Sale and Alepa and uh, As Market and then their like hypermarket brand similar to Co City Market is Prisma and this was the German company that I already mentioned okay all major or all, all three I think little as well all have their own loyalty cards which the cashier might ask you about this is similar to robinson's card or what is it in sm sm advantage or whatever so the cashier might if you don't have this you might get an extra question at the checkout so don't be confused they will give you some discounts and are often applicable to various uh outlets or stores owned by that conglomerate so there's no really harm in getting one but the S group is a cooperative so to get the card you have to pay the cooperative fee or cooperative membership fee or you can deduct it from your purchases later I think I'm not entirely sure So there. Okay. When you go to the grocery store, you have to weigh non prepackaged vegetables and fruits before you head out to the cashier. So near the pile of fruits, there is a their price, obviously, but in the same tag, there is this number that says which button on the scale you have to push to get the label for that particular item so you look at the number of the item on the price label and then pack your stuff take it to the scale and press the button on the scale and it'll print you a sticker which you'll then stick to the produce or to the bag that you put them in and this is a picture of such scale Okay. So unlike in the Philippines, it's really common to pay with a card. And 
usually if your purchase is less than 50 euros then you don't hand the card to the cashier or the card reader at all you usually just tap it to the reader and it'll deduct that from your account and you are good to go and it's super fast and very convenient but also after the checkout you need to pack the items yourself at the Finnish grocery store so there will not be an extra person nor will the cashier pack your things for you so bring a reusable eco bag you can buy plastic bags or paper bags at the counter but they cost money it's not like super expensive but a little anyway so make sure you reuse your plastic bags or use an uh, an eco bag okay how to stay healthy in Finland food wise so avoid white rice and white pasta and it is relatively easy in Finland since fiber rich products are readily available so the terms you wanna keep an eye out for is täysjyvä something that means whole kernel or, or whole wheat and for pasta and rice often the word is tumma something so dark so täysjyvä riisi and tumma riisi and tumma pasta whole wheat pasta and so on brown rice okay like in many western countries or anywhere on the planet really where customers can afford a lot of items it is easy to get too many calories from basic everyday meals so you wanna look for the ravinto sisalto on the packaging and check check its nutritional values and nutritional information it's often indicated per 100 grams rather than the serving size in many products it may have both but the 100 grams is more common than it is in the Philippines here are some key markings so sugar is so carry sodium is suola literally salt saturated fat is due to nyt rasva and sometimes it marked as rasva da 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 josta tyydytty nyt da 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 so fat of which saturates and the word for fiber is kuitu so nutritional fiber ravinto kuitu if you wanna avoid red meat it's relatively easy in Finland so you can find fish and chicken easily available in all grocery stores there's no similar palenque culture in Finland as there is in the Philippines so grocery store is usually your go-to place for any food items but you can find uh, stock fr uh, I mean frozen products as well as like refrigerated meat products in most places and if you want to go totally meat free it's relatively easy in Finland because there are many meat substitutes and alternatives here are here are some products so fava beans pulled oats textured soy protein for example okay cheap sources of protein in Finland other than other than the previously mentioned there are lentils which you can cook beans and the previously mentioned quark especially if it's fat free it's a good source of milk protein but its cheese is high on protein and eggs uh, but in Finland you this is important in Finland you always need to keep the eggs refrigerated unlike in the Philippines or many other countries 
in Finland, in the Nordic countries and in the US, eggs are usually washed before packaging, so they lose the protective coating they would otherwise have that would keep it from spoiling in room temperature. So Finnish or eggs you buy in Finland don't have that though, so they will, if you leave them on the counter, they will spoil way faster than they would in the Philippines or France or basically anywhere where eggs are not washed before packaging them for the consumer. And obviously chicken if you wanna find a or if you want to eat animal protein. In Finland it's called kana or broileri on the packaging. Okay. So at work, if you work at a fixed place, there's usually a fridge where you can store your own lunch and then you can nuke it in the microwave later. So it's a good and cheap option to cook on your own. All Finns or many people who went to school in Finland, I should say, they have taken home egg in school and many of them have moved out of their home and lived on their own since they turned 18 or so. So they might find it culturally a little strange if you tell them that you haven't lived on your own or that you cannot cook. But that's just cultural differences. Don't take it too personally if they silently <laughs> do some eye rolling. Okay. Now, of course, people are busy and not everybody wants to cook and not everybody likes cooking and not everybody can cook. So the term for convenience food or TV dinners or that kind of like grab and go food at the grocery stores is exit or anus. And these things are usually easily perishable food items, so keep them in the fridge and keep an eye on the v main and cow the pave and date which is the expiration date literally the last day of use so you don't food poison yourself okay now here are some food items that are either that either don't exist or are difficult to find in the philippines and you should try these out once in Finland, at least just for fun, once for cultural exposure. Okay. A big deal in Finland is ruisleipä or rye bread. This is like dark hearty bread that, that is high on fiber and it comes in variety of forms and shapes in Finland, but the u common caress characteristic is this darkish shape to it. You can even get like rye burgers at some burger places in Finland. It's pretty good. What else? Okay, so the previously mentioned rahka or the quark, and if you combine that with sugar-free mehukeitto, that's like a a sugar-free, high-protein <laughs> dessert that you can try out. Very healthy, but also like heavy on milk protein. Okay, this is something people eat. I, they either heat them up or eat them cold. So pinatti letut, pinatti ohukaiset and porkana letut. So these like very small pancakey looking thingies that you can eat as a main course or on the side so spin they come in a variety of forms like carrot or spinach or even blood pancakes very little and then there's this pastry thingy called karjalan piirakka or in many places or many pr Brands are called Riisipiirakka. This is a 
a small pastry that has a thin rye crust and then usually has rice porridge in the middle and these are not very good on their own but if you add any toppings like butter or egg or egg and butter or fish or something like that they can be really yummy these originate in from the eastern southeastern Finland but they are commonly found across the country okay so this is Finnish street food a deep fried meat pie that has rice and ground beef or ground meat inside and this thing is called lihapiirakka and then you obviously should fill it with some unhealthy things like hot dogs and and egg and stuff like that and this is like the typical hangover food in Finland that you get from some hole in the wall when you come come home from the bar in the middle of the night. Okay, then there's this cultural concept called Roiskelappa. This is a nickname for a cheap TV dinner pizza. That they are not very small and their their toppings are very thin. Or the th toppings are not that plenty. But they are kind of like a cultural concept and are found in the uh, convenience food sections and there are a variety of them. Try them out once. You can eat them cold or nuke them. And this is what it looks like in real life if you take it out from the uh, packaging. Okay. Now this is my personal favorite along with the Karelian pastry. So there are these this type of candy called metrilaku. These are usually one meter long licorice bars. Not not bars per se. But licorice candy that you can buy at amusement parks and pu public markets and in some summer events. And usually comes in a variety of flavors and Usually the more you buy, the cheaper the price. But I mean, it's licorice candy, so it might not be for everybody. Here is a picture from a summer festival. Okay. This is something they will serve at nursing homes as a dessert. Or maybe for breakfast sometimes. So this is whipped semolina pudding with lingonberries which are similar to cranberries so and it's called vispipuro whipped porridge so the semolina and the berries are boiled and after that uh, it's whisked to add air to it to make it fluffier but you can make this on your own or you can just buy a store port version of it and this is a Finnish classic salty licorice. Uh, this is a type of candy that's flavored with ammonium chloride. So it gives this, uh, or it gives it a very salty aftertaste or salty flavor. And this is popular in the Nordic countries, Finland, and then also in the Netherlands. And some people say it's an acquired taste and it might be something your co-workers will prank you with they will offer this and then laugh at you when you find it disgusting but you can find or purchase these at the candy aisles at the grocery stores and there are many varieties some stronger some less so so find your favorite or at least try them once and see how it goes. But very much a cultural thing in Finland. You can, or the Finnish term for it is salamiakki, and you can get it as a candy, but there is also like vodka and ice cream products that are flavored the same way. Anyway, I think this is the last slide. 
so if you have any questions comments or anything you want to ask about comment don't comment on YouTube but comment on the discord server in the Finland channel alrighty thank you <laughs> moi moi <laughs>